close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, know you're breathing in. When you breathe out, know you're breathing out. It's nothing much. It's not too difficult, but the difficulty is in doing it repeatedly. Again and again and again. So you get really good at it. And it's in doing it again and again that you develop all the good qualities you need in, mind, in the mind. Because we live in this world, and the world has all sorts of ways of just sapping our strength, pulling our strength out of us. And we need to strengthen ourselves inside. And so mindfulness, this ability to keep something in mind, and alertness to the point where you can be really concentrated in what you're doing. Okay? That, that's what enables you to build strength inside and also focus on what you really need to do outside. Because it's so easy to get our attention scattered all over the place. But if you want to really be happy in life, you have to decide what's something you really want more than anything else, and you have to be very clear about that. And be willing to sacrifice your time with other things for the sake of what you really think is important. That takes strength, because it's so easy to get pulled away. Everything seems linked to everything else now. You push on one, one button and it takes you someplace else, and the other buttons, and you just wander all over the world many, many times. And the result of that is that what you really need, wanted to do in the beginning just doesn't get done. You need focus. You need to be able to say yes to some things consistently and no to other things consistently. So right now you're saying yes to the breath, and yes to the thoughts of the breath. This way your mindfulness turns into concentration. Your efforts turn into mindfulness, concentration, and they develop your discernment. Because discernment is what teaches you what's really right and wrong, what's important, what's not important. And it needs strength, because sometimes we can see that something is wrong and yet we can't, don't have the strength not to do it. Or we see something is right and we don't have the strength to do it. So the concentration is there to help give you that strength, a sense of well-being inside. You stay with the breath long enough, you get to know it well. You begin to realize, okay, this is what a comfortable breath is like. This is what a breath that strengthens the body is like. This is a breath that soothes the mind is like. You get used to using these resources inside instead of looking outside for all of your quick fixes. You've got a lot of the things you need inside you right now. It's just a matter of sitting still and learning to get acquainted with them so you can develop them. That's why we stick with the breath again and again and again. It just seems to be in and out, but you learn a lot of ins and outs about the mind as you stay here. And then the mind is strengthened so that whatever else work, whatever other work you have to do, okay, you're ready for it. Otherwise, you're just running around and around and around all the time. Because you run after the things of the world, and what does the world do? It spins. And it's even though the world is only a tiny speck in the whole universe, but the fact that it spins around just keeps spinning indefinitely. And so you have to decide, okay, you want to stop and be still right here. And to decide, okay, what you want to run after, what you don't want to run after. What's worth developing inside. These things become a lot clearer if you have this time to settle down and watch.